Aircraft anatomy. Since the days of the Wright brothers' first powered flight in 1903, aircraft have become ever more sophisticated and bigger. The Wright brothers' flyer had a wingspan of 12.3 meters and weighed 274 kilograms. 82 kilograms came from its 12 horsepower engine. Orville Wright flew the first controlled powered flight in a heavier than air aircraft at 10:35 hours on December the 17th, 1903. He flew 36.6 meters in 12 seconds at a speed of 10.9 kilometers per hour. In comparison to this first flight, the Airbus A400M military transport plane has a wingspan of 42.4 meters, an overall length of 45.1 meters, and has a maximum takeoff weight of 141,000 kilograms. It can carry 37,000 kilograms of cargo and 50,500 kilograms of fuel. At 17.71 meters, the cargo hold is five meters longer than Orville Wright's first flight. The cargo bay is four meters wide and almost four meters tall. Orville Wright flew at a height of around three meters. The A400M flies at an altitude of up to 11,300 meters. The flyer's 12 horsepower engine powered two wooden propellers, which were around two and a half meters in diameter. The A400M has four 11,000 horsepower engines, driving four eight-bladed composite propellers that are 5.3 meters in diameter. Each engine is 3.5 meters long and weighs around 1,900 kilograms. Against the flyer's 10.9 kilometers per hour. The A400M flies at speeds up to 780 kilometers per hour. The Wright Flyer's undercarriage was a simple ski. The A400M has an undercarriage of 12 main wheels and two nose wheels. Orville Wright didn't have a cockpit to sit in or even a seat. He lay on the top of the bottom wing. The pilots of the A400M have comfortable seats. Side stick controllers with which to fly the plane, and all flight instruments are displayed on large color screens. One similarity between the Wright brothers' flyer and the A400M is the spin of the propellers. On both aircraft, the propellers spin in opposite directions to help with handling in the air. The propellers on each wing of the A400M counter rotate towards each other from the top down to the middle of the wing. And of course, all aircraft have wings. It's these that provide the lift needed to get the plane into the air. The Wright Flyer had wooden wings with a muslin fabric glued to them. The A400M's wings are made of carbon fiber reinforced plastic composite. The A400M has a particularly large tailplane and rudder made of the same composite as the wings. How times have changed.